Hey everyone, it's Enza from SinsityMama.com and we're trying a little something a little new today. Um, I got some new lighting, so we're trying, we're gonna try it out. So I am in my daughter's playroom, surrounded by toys, um, while she's napping, so I figured what better time than to do a packing video. This is um, the Juju B B Hip. It is um, an older style bag, which I really, really, really love. Um, the print is Shadow Walls, which again is a print that I totally am in love with. I'm kind of obsessed with it because I love black and pink. So all about, all about the Shadow Walls, right? Um, this is actually, I believe, been replaced by the B Sporty, which is kind of this design because I like a longer bag instead of a wider bag and it has the backpack straps on it. So I will definitely, definitely definitely be getting a beef sporty here pretty soon because I do love the shape of this bag. So let's get the packing or I guess technically unpacking, right? My daughter is currently potty training. So this is, um, packed for potty training needs and stuff like that. Um, I will tell you the things that, um, I am missing because I am missing a couple of things because we did go out this morning and this is the bag as we've come back from a morning out. We went to breakfast and we went to a play place and we did a little bit of shopping. So this is a pr pretty much my everyday, um, my everyday bag. Okay. We'll start with the back pocket. I love the back pocket. It's nice and long. You can shove a lot of stuff in there. Um, she has her book. She, um, loves books. Like she will, you know, she will actually sit down and read a book for like a long period of time, like longer than most toddlers will sit down and look at books. Um, and then we also have her Tegu blocks. These are the coolest, let me just show you real quick. These are the coolest like magnetic blocks ever. She is like totally obsessed with them. She has, this is the set that I keep in our, in this bag. Um, I have a set for our Be Right Back, no, our uh, BFF bag. And I also have a larger set that we keep at the house, but she just loves these so much. And that's all that's in that back pocket. Side pocket, we keep her juice cup, uh, Contigo. Thanks for you pronounce it, but Contigo. Um, she loves these. They are like leak proof, spill proof, like the whole nine yards. Straw cup, she loves them. I buy a lot of these <laughs> just, to, just to make sure we have them. Okay, inside. Inside the, the large flap, it does have a uh, magnetic closure. Let's go to the front pockets first. This is my uh, stroller lock. Um, we go places that require uh, stroller parking and stuff like that. And I have some pretty pricey strollers. I have, um, I have a couple bugaboo stroller, actually I have three bugaboo strollers, um, a, Sto a Stokia stroller. I think we pronounce it. I don't know. I have, it's the Explorey. Um, so I have some pretty, oh, and I have an Orbit, which I love and I'm so sad they went out of business. Um, so I have some pretty pricey stores, so I like to try to secure them as much as possible. So there's that. This is the small set piece, um, from, I believe, Dream World. Um, I, I got pretty good print placement on that one, too. Um, but this is our small little med kit. I don't carry a big med kit anymore. Um, I found I didn't need it, so I just carry, like, you know, the Neosporin, some extra Aquaphor, uh, nail clippers, Tylenol for me, um, band-aids, you know, stuff like that. Now inside the big pocket, it's pretty, it's pretty massive in here. And it's, it's, it's not even packed really full. Like I, ha I still have more room to put stuff, which is awesome. Okay. First we have crayons. Crayons are always good to have. These are the, um, twistable crayons. Uh, so you can twist them up, twist them down. I found that they're less mess and my daughter still has, um, she, she likes to chew on things still. So chewing on the back of the plastic of this worries me less than her actually chewing on an actual crayon. So, but these, she's done really good with these. These have not actually been chewed on. So, Hey, maybe she's growing out of it, right? These are organic gummy bears. Um, she has potty training, so these work as our reward system for when she does go potty in the potty. So I always have these with us uh, since she loves them and their reward, right? Okay. Then, of course, I have her EpiPen Junior. 
in here. I got this case from the actual EpiPen website. They will send them up. They will send you two of them for free. So um, if you do have an EpiPen or have someone in your family who needs an EpiPen, go to the EpiPen site. This keeps them, um, it's insulated. It keeps them uh, like uh, temperature controlled. That's what I'm looking for. Um, so we have her EpiPen Junior. We've got her two steroid creams for her eczema and always a little extra aqua for Oh, I have two of these in here. So you can fit more things than just the EpiPen and the EpiPen holder that you get free. So I like this thing and uh oh, the uh, there's actually like a like a D ring clip the thing that goes on here too that um, <laughs> my child has probably run off with. But there you go. All right. Oh no, here it is. It was stuck on one of the bags. So it's like, ah, sorry. So it's a clip like this. It goes on the back here. And then you're able to like hang it on things and stuff like that or clip it to. When I just take um, my diapering quick, I do clip this to the outside of the diapering quick so I always have it with me. We never go anywhere without every pen. Next is my medium set piece in the Donatella's Sweet Shop, which is like my favorite brand that I'm obsessed with. Um, medium set piece. Love it. There she is, Donatella. Okay, so this is, a, this is we use this for snacks. Um, sorry if I'm going too fast. I don't want the video to be like an hour long or anything like that. Um, so we have like her toddler mum mums, some apple sauces. She's obsessed with these um, strawberry stretch island organic fruit leathers. Of, totally obsessed with those. So I have a ton of those in here. That's like most of the bag is, is those. So snacks. My daughter has 18 known food allergies. So I have to really be careful and really take her snacks everywhere we go because I can't just like stop and buy her a burger or anything like that if she gets hungry. So I come prepared. Okay. Up oh, here. This is her food kit. Her, I mean, restaurant kit, I should say. She has, we have seventh generation wipes. We have a small play pack. We have table, um, what do you call them? Uh, place mats that like stick to the table. We have a paper bib, which is just, you know, toss it in the trash when you're done. Um, I have a dapple pacifier wipe. I like to wipe down um, her spoon and stuff when we're done. I always carry two things of Pedialyte just in case we're out and she gets uh, sick or anything like that and we, I can give them to her that we can go home. And then of course her spoon. Oh, and this is one of those mesh um, mesh kits that I got from um, TJ Maxx. It comes with three or four in different sizes. This is the smallest one. Okay. Now, in the it has a back pocket here, a back zipper pocket here. Back here we have, um, this is a, people laugh at me, this is an Android phone um, called Coolpad that I got for my daughter. She has, um, it. I can hook it to my, um, I can tether it to my iPhone for internet, so I don't even need to have internet or anything with it. Um, so I got it for $9.99 at Kroger when they had them. I bought like 10 of them just in case um, she ever breaks them or whatever. She does have an um, Amazon Kindle Fire Kids. She also has an iPad, but I find that taking this just, you know, it's just smaller and it just seems to work better. And it has all the same stuff on it. It's got um, baby TV on it. It's got um, Netflix on it. So it just fits better in the bag and I just take that with us. And it's less, you know, less noticeable and less loud at like restaurants and things like that. If we, if this is, I use it as a last resort. So if things are really going awry, then we pull this out. And my small set piece for the Donatella Sweet Shop, I have ba -ba -da, extra charger for the phone. Oh, here's my Bluetooth. I've been looking for that. My Bluetooth. Been looking for that for a few days. And then we have an extra power bank. That can be by Tron. I love Tron products. Um, that can be used to power to charge either her phone or my phone. So always good to have an extra charger. And that's all there is in the zipper pocket. Now, potty training. She um, still not fully potty trained. 
still working on it. But I'm, I don't like public bathrooms myself, so <laughs> my kid's not sitting on a public toilet, if I can help it. So this is the Graco Travel Fold-Up Potty Seat. You literally just like stick it on top of the potty. What I do is I put the, you know, the potty guard, the, um, you know, the seat covers down first, and I stick this on top of it if we're out in public. Um, and then she can go potty and not fall or, you know, even really touch the potty because she kind of likes to hold on sometimes or all the time. So she can kind of hold on to this instead of holding on to the actual dirty public potty. Um, folds right up. Uh, I typically, I normally have Clorox wipes, which I used this morning, so I don't have them. I need to go get some more out of the cabinet, out of my stockpile. Um, this actually, funny story about this, this case that it's in, uh, it does not come with a case, but this case, uh, came with my new set of sheets. <laughs> a, a sheet came in here. So I used the, uh, the cover, the case, the, the sheet came in for, to put the potty in, so you know but yes I usually have Clorox wipes to wipe everything down after she goes potty and all that so um, that's what's missing and I usually have toilet seat covers that I do carry just in case we're out and we don't have um, and we go to a bathroom that doesn't have them I try to always have them too just to be extra safe because I don't want her to regress with the potty thing you know okay here's my diapering quick um, we usually, we used to do cloth diapers. Now, um, I found it easier to do like pull-ups and diapers, uh, disposable diapers, uh, while potty training. So we have these, I have three in here. I have the little bags. I need, ooh, I need to put some more in. I have little bags, the cement bags that you can put the dirty diapers and stuff in if there's an accident. This little pouch is actually a snack pouch. This has sunblock, baby, baby Gannex sunblock and baby Yanks daily moisturizing lotion um it's really important even when it's overcast to have to put some luck on your kid so i always try to carry it we have our baby aquaphor i am a huge lover of aquaphor um she's got eczema so aquaphor is our best friend <laughs> then we have our wipes this is a finding dory wipe case by huggies we use the huggies natural care wipes this came with um, our huge box of wipes that we buy from Costco. And, oh, I have more bags and then more scented bags. And, of course, Donatella Sweet Shop Be Quick by Jujubee. Love it. Love that print. And I think that's it. I think that's... Yeah. <laughs> you check all the pockets first. But, yes, I think that that is it. So, here's the inside of the bag. Hope you can see that. And like I said, I'm working with new lighting, so I am hoping you guys can see everything and everything comes out right. Um, yeah, so that's it. Again, this is the Juju BB Hip bag. It is a discontinued um, bag and also a discontinued print. So the closest thing you'll get to this in the new styles is the Juju BB Sporty. And it's uh, to me, I've seen it and I've played with it. Um, it's kind of an upgrade to this because it has the backpack straps and things like that. So, there you go. All right. This is Enza from SinCityMama.com doing a What's in My Diaper Bag video. Check me out at, oh, on Instagram at SinCityMama. Um, on Twitter at VegasEnza. And uh, High Heels and Baby Booties on Facebook. I couldn't even think of it. I'm so tired. I should probably be napping now instead of my kid. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye.